All right, are we rolling? Okay. Hey everyone, um, we're here at Bowerly Ranch Park. It's located in South Austin, and it's a really cool park that was acquired around 2001, 2002-ish by the city of Austin. Um, the city of Austin worked with the public trust and some developers to actually buy up this land. And part of it, the part in the middle is a neighborhood, and then the part around it is actually a public land that we can all access and take our dogs on. So today we're going to see some crystals and I'm going to talk about why the crystals are here and give some geologic context. And also I just want to point out that right here is the native Texas persimmon tree that has persimmons on it and they're actually ripe right now in August, late August. So yeah, let's go look at some crystals. Come on. So we finally made it to the area where the calcite crystals are. And they are actually in the holes of all of this rock. So before you get to thinking that this rock is from this area, it's not. It looks like this stuff was in place here around 2021. Um, because before it, there are no rocks here. And after that, there are rocks here. So based on this area and based on the fact that there is a stormwater drainage pipe just up the hill, it looks like these rocks were put here to control erosion. Big rocks like this slow down the flow of water, which slows down the force of water um, to erode the material here. Hi, Rocky here. I just wanted to add something. In order to figure out why these limestone boulders have all these calcite crystals, we need to figure out a few things first, such as what this rock is, how was it formed, and where did it actually come from. Okay back to you, Jackie. So this rock is uh, what we geologists call beach rock. And beach rock is a little different from regular dimension stone limestone that is used to build like buildings and um, houses. This stuff is limestone, but it is not pretty limestone. It's junk limestone that they just use to fill in holes um, and use for erosion projects like this. Uh, the reason it's junky limestone is because it's got all these holes in it. It's not homogenous. It's kind of ugly, um, although they didn't see the pretty calcite crystals. Beach rock forms really rapidly compared to the limestone that is beautiful dimension stone that we use to build buildings. That limestone takes thousands of years to form. This limestone uh, takes hundreds or so years to form. This type of rock forms so rapidly that in World War II there was some island where the U.S. Army dumped a bunch of their equipment and they dumped their equipment on a beach where beach rock was actively forming or is actively forming and that beach rock precipitated more beach rock where that World War II stuff was uh, placed. Okay, so we're pretty sure that this is beach rock. There was a lot of beach rock that formed near the Pilot Knob volcano about 80 million years ago, right? Could you explain why Pilot Knob had beach rock forming rapidly near it? So Pilot Knob is a volcano that formed around 80 million years ago, and uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the Pilot Knob, it is a volcano that formed here around 80 million years ago, and when it was forming, it actually formed underneath the sea, and it erupted so many times and ejected so much material that it breached the surface of the ocean and formed a little island. And on that island, uh, we have beach rock. I predict that this rock was purchased from Pilot Knob Materials, which is an aggregate supply nearby. One more thing to note, beach rock doesn't normally have crystals like this, but the Pilot Knob area is particularly special. Jackie will speak more on what happened after the beach rock initially formed. Okay, 
So fast forward, uh, this stuff gets buried and the water is circulating through this rock and it's forming these crystals as the rock is submerged in water. And actually, these crystals are scalenohedron, uh, which is a type of crystal form of calcite. The other crystal form is rhombohedron, which looks like this. <laughs> and uh, so this is one form of calcite. The calcite that is in these little pockets um, is a different form of calcite. And supposedly, according to new research, this type of uh, calcite uh, forms because of hotter water. So I'm assuming that since this was in a volcanically active region, the volcanic source, the magma was heating up water that was circulating through and creating these crystals. And that's that. So remember, you shouldn't take these crystals because for one thing, it's against the park rules. And another thing, these rocks serve a purpose here. It's to reduce erosion. And another thing, we want other people to come here and see the cool crystals. And if you take them, that can't happen. So yeah, hope you liked this talk. It's getting dark now, so we need to head back and put this pup to rest. Uh, bedtime, not gonna kill her, but <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>